Now coming to question number one. Question number one states video stroboscopy is used for all of the following except here the answer is A that is papilloma. <coughs> question number one answer is A that is papilloma. Now we should know what is video stroboscopy. Video stroboscopy stroboscopy is a method it is a method to visualize vocal fold vibrations. So you can ask me how you see the vocal cord vibration. What we do is we put a light a flickering light through a flexible or a rigid endoscope. Suppose here if the vocal cords of the patients are present we throw a light. So we, we uh, the light frequency uh, the what we are throwing it is synchronized with the vocal fold uh, movements of the patient but the frequency of it is slightly less like if you have been to a disco you can see when the lights are flickering the patients the, the, uh, the persons are seeing that they are as if they are moving in a slow motion. So same is the principle which is applied here. The, the moment of the, uh, the frequency at which the light is being flashed on the vocal cords is slightly less than the frequency on which the vocal cords they are, they are actually vibrating. So we can see these vocal cords as moving in slow motion. As this is happening we can easily uh, uh, see the pathology of the vocal cords. Suppose option number B if a nodule is present we can diagnose a nodule or an ulcer or a neurological disorder. But option number A states it's a papilloma. We never use a stroboscope for a papilloma. Papilloma itself we can it's a basically respiratory papillomatosis. It's a basically it's a gross disease. So we cannot uh, we, we can uh, uh, use a endoscope to diagnose this condition. So stroboscopy is not used for the diagnosis of papilloma. But in between the treatment like as you all know the papillomatosis they are recurrent. So in between we can see uh, the condition of the vocal cords how they are moving after in between the, uh, the therapy or the surgery what we are doing. But per se for papilloma diagnosis we never use stroboscopy. So here the answer is A that is the papilloma.